they continued living with faith until they died. They did not get the things God promised to these people, but they were happy just to see those promises coming far in the future. They accepted the fact that they were like visitors and strangers here on earth. In verse 36, some were laughed at and beaten, others were tied up and put in prison, they were killed with stones, they were cut in half. Actually, Isaiah, according to history, was cut in half. Nilagari po siya sa gitna. Ganun po siya pinatay because of his obedience to the word of God. They were killed with swords, the only clothes. Some of them had wear sheepskins and goatskins. They were poor, persecuted, and treated badly by others. Pero nakakalungkot, no? Kasi kahit nga sila, no? Uh, sheep, ano? Sheepskins and goatskins. Ikaw naman ay crocskins. Kasi nakalakost pala. But sometimes, we are not appreciating how good our God to each of us. Amen? Alam nyo nga po kung minsan, no? Kapag tayo'y kumakain, Tapos, pag nakita natin na dalawa lang naman kasi ang option dito, eh, mano ka chicken lang eh. <laughs> Pero, pag nababalita mo yung nangyayari sa Ethiopia, amen, if you would just see those uh, children living in the outskirts of Yemen, malnourished, living without food, isn't it the right response to our God? To just thank Him. Kasi po sa bansa pong ito, hindi tayo ginutom ng ating Panginoon. Amen. Palakpakan nga po natin ang ating Lord. Tapos nag pa tayo kung minsan. Nasa halip dapat pala, nagpapasalamat na lang tayo sa ating Panginoon. And so we are very thankful. Sabi po kasi sa binasa po natin, you know what? This... Old Testament saints, they did not receive all the promises that the Lord told them, but they just see it from afar. Alam nila, it, this will happen in the future because for thousands of years, they are waiting for the Messiah. But the Messiah came not on their generation, but on our generation. But during the New Testament era, not in the Old Testament era. Pero ang sabi po doon, but they did not abandon their faith. Amen? Kaya kahit 26, 30, uh, ano, no? uh, 6 years, 6 months na po yung inyong mga, mga panalat, hindi pa tinutugon po ng Panginoon, that is not a ground for us to rebel against God and to abandon our faith. Amen? Alam niyo po, I remember a story of one of our elders in the church. Uh, she's one actually of our elders in the church and she was uh, married to a, an, a military officer. And for years, she prayed for her husband to know the Lord Jesus. She cried a river and after 15 years, her husband know the Lord and served the Lord and became an elder of the church as well. Fifteen years. Baka po ang pinagpipray lamang po natin, fifteen days pa lang. Tapos bumibigay ka na agad. Fifteen months pa lang. But this wonderful woman of God for fifteen years. And she did not back Siya po'y nagpatuloy. At alam nyo, mangyayari lamang po yan if we have this solid foundation in the Lord. The same also in our time as written by Paul to the church in Corinth. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse, verse 8 to 10. We have troubles all around us, but we are not defeated. We often don't know what to do, but we don't give up. We are persecuted, but God the, but God does not leave us. We are hurt sometimes, but we are not destroyed. We were constantly experienced the death of Jesus in our, in our own bodies. 
but this is but this is so that the life of Jesus can also be seen in our bodies that even in our sufferings we could see the workings of our God. Amen. Alam niyo po kung gusto niyo po lagi weekly ma may encourage in your faith in the Lord umatan po kayo ng NOPs and listen just listen to the testimonies of the people of God in this place and you will be encouraged how the Lord move in the midst of their uncertainties of their quandaries they are perplexed yes but because of their faith in in our God Kaya alam niyo po, dapat hindi po natin nami-miss po yung NOP. Amen? Umatan po tayo. Ito po yung every Tuesday, 8. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Dati pala yun. Wednesday, baka umatan kayo sa Tuesday, kayo lang mag-isa. Every Wednesday, 8 in the evening, Zoom naman po ito in the comfort of our home. Amen? Attend, participate, and you will see how God works mightily in the lives of God's people. So we have this now five L's. And we are applying these five L's in our life, but to what very specific? Kasi nga po, there are dynamics in our lives that, that are actually the focal target of the enemy. At alam nyo po, kapag hindi ho natin nabantayan, ito pong five F's. F's. Ayan, F's. Hindi po ifs, ha, but F's. Fafa. So, Father, Fs, eh, tayo pong lahat ay manghihina. And what are these? Number one is faith. We need to guard our faith. We need to balance our faith. We need to work it out because faith is the foundation of our life. So, everything in our life revolves in our faith. Hebrews chapter 1, 11, verse 1. Faith is what makes real the things we hope for. It is proof of what we cannot see. And in verse 11, without faith, no one can please God. Whoever comes to God must believe that He is real and that He rewards those who sincerely try to find Him. So in our relationship with God, faith is very important because when we talk about faith, it refers to our relationship with God. So take time for your faith to grow. What else? Your family. Our families, our first line of defense and support. It is God's sacred gift to everyone. And it is where our feeling of brokenness and fullness or completeness is, is first experience. Alam niyo po ba, yung pong feeling na parang abandoned kayo, una po itong nararanasan sa family, hindi po sa labas. Kaya kailangan po nating bantayan, kailangan po nating ipagpray, kailangan po nating ingatan ng atin pong family. Ang sabi po ni Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 4 verse 14, after looking over everything, I stood up and spoke to the to the important families, the officials and the rest of the people. I said, "Don't be afraid of our enemies. Remember the Lord who is great and powerful. You must fight for your brothers, your sons, and your daughters. You must fight for your wives and your homes. Husbands, are you fighting for your wives? Wives, are you fighting for your husbands? O kung minsan, chinuchuchu nyo pa yung, yung asawa sa ibang tao. Sinisiraan nyo pa sa iba. Hindi. We should cover. We should protect our family. And for the couples here, alam nyo po ba that there is a study in the US that those couples who serve the Lord together, they are more productive, they are more, in, uh, they, they serve the Lord uh, very enjoying they, they really find uh, no, no, enjoyment in serving the Lord. But those couples who failed to, to, uh, no, no, uh, to serve the Lord together in the ministry, yung si, si Mrs. Lang or si, si Mr. Lang, alam niyo po ba na only one-tenth of them are happy in the ministry. So, pakitas nga po ang kamay ng mga mag-asawa po sa lugar na ito. Ayan. Can I just ask you to please stand? Sige po, tumayo nga po tayo. Doon po sa mga may asawa. Ayan. 
Kung kasama niyo po ang inyong asawa, hawakan niyo po ang kamay ng inyong asawa. Kung hindi niyo po kasama ang inyong asawa, kayo po ay tumayo pa rin dahil may asawa po kayo. Ang sabi po ng mga single, sana all. And we will be praying for you because your role in the family is so enormous. Can you just lift up your hands together? Lord, bless these wonderful couples. Pagpalain niyo po, Panginoon, ang bawat ama at ina ng tahanan na dinala niyo po sa buluwagang ito. Bless them, bless them. Bless, Lord God, the husbands. Bless the wives, Lord God. Give them your strength, Lord, that they will fight for their family, Lord God, no matter what. That they will fight for their children, Lord God, no matter what. That each a spouse, Lord God, each wife and husband, they will fight for their marriage no matter what, Lord God. And in the name of Jesus, let your anointing power be upon them. Bless their plans, Lord God, bless their plans. Bless them, Lord God, with all kinds of blessing and protect them, Lord God, from the evil one. In Jesus' name. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Sige po, makakaupo na po kayo. Singles, pakitas ang kamay. Amen. Yung po mga singles na sa tingin nyo, sa puso ninyo, eh kayo po'y mag-aasawa, pakitas ang kamay. At kayo po'y tumayo. Sige po, tayo. We will be praying for you. Amen. Popos, extend your hands to them. Extend your hands to them. Lord, bless this wonderful singles, Lord God. Ibigay niyo po sa kanila, Panginoon, ang kanilang love life ayon sa iyong kalooban. Bigyan niyo po sila ng better half, Lord God, na makakatulong sa kanila upang makapaglingkod sila na walang abala sa iyo, Panginoon. Make them productive, Lord God. Make a bless them in all kinds of blessing in the name of Jesus. And Father, Lord, close every door, Lord God, na, ma, na magdudulot lamang ng sakit at habdi sa kanilang puso, Panginoon. Just bring the right person for to them, Lord God, and be glorified in their existence. And all the people of God will say, Amen. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Because family is very important in our God. Napakahalaga po ng pamilya. This is where uh, true happiness and love is first learned. Kaya nga po yung po mga tatay, mga nanay, napaka yung responsibility. At alam nyo po, we are so very blessed in this church kasi napaka prayerful po ng ating pastora. Kung alam nyo lamang kung paano, kayo iluhod ng ating pastora. Amen? Kung alam nyo lamang kung paano po siya umiyak, tumangis para po sa bawat isa. Para makita na tayo po yung nagtatagumpay na nanatiling tapat para po sa ating Diyos. Amen? Palakpakan po natin ng Panginoon. So the consequence of ignoring the F of family is the pain of broken relationship. Kaya dapat may panahon po ang bawat isa. May may panahon po ang ano no ang ang mag-asawa sa bawat isa hindi lamang po dapat sa mga anak. Dapat dinidate niyo pa rin po ang inyong mga asawa. Amen. Hindi dahil sa ibinigay niyo na ibinigay na ni Mrs. ang limang anak sa iyo eh wala ka ng time sa kanya. Dapat siya pa rin yung pinakasariwa, pinakasexy, di ba? Pinakamaganda sa iyong mata. kahit times three na siya mula nung nagpakasal kayo. Kasi imagine, lima yung inalagaan niya, kailangan niya talaga ng maraming cards niyan. So, we need to fortify. We need to protect. We need 